my name is Rick Woodford and I'm the Dog Food Dude. We just got back from a walk and although the weather didn't cooperate, these guys sure did. And when they do well on a walk, we like to reward them with a cookie. Problem is, I've got an empty cookie jar. So it's time to fix that. Let me show you a quick treat that I'm going to make with ingredients that I already have on hand. When a banana's gone this far, I'm not going to eat it. But, I'm sure sneaking into a dog cookie. Today I'm going to combine it with three other ingredients, cinnamon, olive oil, and oats, to make a banana granola bar. And it's quick and easy to prepare because we do it all inside the food processor. Let me show you how it's done. Alright, so uh, we need three cups of oatmeal. There's my third cup. And I'm just going to pulse that for a quick minute just so that it gets to a kind of a coarse grind. So it's kind of powdery, not quite as finely milled as most fl oat flours would be, but it's going to be perfect for our cookie. We're going to combine that with three tablespoons of olive oil and one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're going to take our ugly black banana and get there into the skin. Now if you have those little strings, don't worry, they're going to get chopped up in here. So I'm just going to kind of chop it up into little pieces to make it easier for the food processor. And it's as slimy as it looks. And we're just going to mill it around for another minute. So we're going to take our dough out. And it's still kind of moist. If you notice that it has, it isn't really kind of holding together, you might want to add a couple tablespoons of water. It all depends on how ripe your banana is and how large the banana is. And I'm just going to pat it out into a little shape here, a little rectangle. Probably about a half an inch thick. That banana is going to get it to hold all together. The olive oil is going to help preserve it and the cinnamon is going to give it an antioxidant kick. Now instead of cookie shapes, let's just make it really quick and easy. Cut it with a pizza cutter. Ta-da! So my oven's already preheated to 325. I'm just going to slip them in there for about 20 minutes and then we're going to have some really happy dogs. And after 25 minutes, here's our cookies. And because we scored them, they're easy to break apart. So, which of you was a good dog? You were, and you were, and you were. Wait a minute, you didn't even go for a walk. Here you go. There you go, a quick and easy treat for you to feed your best friend better.